Hello everyone, my name is Quinn Knight and welcome back to How to Not Suck at Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today we'll be covering Finn, everyone's favorite rebel scum and the newest addition to the hero side of things in Battlefront 2. First we'll be covering the very basics of Finn so you can effectively use him on the battlefield and then move on to the best strategies that will allow you to dominate the enemy team. If you do enjoy this series and want me to finish up the heroes that I haven't done yet, definitely leave this video a like. You guys smashed over 1500 likes on Friday's Phasma Guide so let's see how many likes we can get for our boy Finn. If there is a special hero that I haven't covered yet, definitely let me know in the comments who I should work on next. This video should be going up on Christmas Day, so I want to take a quick second just to thank you guys for an excellent month over here on YouTube. During the month of December, we have gained over 25,000 new subscribers, and to all of you people who decided to stick around, thank you for choosing to do so. But anyways guys, let's get into this. So to start off, let's cover Finn's basic health and movement capabilities. Finn has 600 base HP and on its own, this is the lowest health of any of the light side heroes, but luckily, Finn's big deal ability makes him a lot less fragile, which we'll discuss in detail a little later on. As far as movement goes, Finn's movement speed is pretty slow. He runs noticeably slower than many of the other light side heroes, but his mobility is rarely a problem in Galactic Assault. He moves at around the same pace as regular infantry troopers and moves quick enough to keep up with the action, which is all that matters in that game mode. In HVV, he's going to be outpaced by most heroes, and if your team is wiped out and you find yourself facing down four villains by yourself, making it back to your teammates without getting caught is going to be very difficult, as nearly every dark side hero, with the exception of Vader, is going to have no issues catching up to you with ease and finishing you off. Finn's combat role is also noticeably different than Leia, Lando, or Han when it comes to evading lightsaber users. Like every other hero, his role can only be used twice before entering a short cooldown, but Finn's hitbox is larger than other blaster heroes, and you will feel this while trying to escape from saber users. You will find that rolling away is a much less effective strategy with Finn than it is with Leia or Han, and I would recommend just avoiding getting up close and personal with any saber heroes altogether, as you'll find yourself stunlocked and unable to cheese them by rolling away more often than not. Finn's primary weapon is his EL-16 blaster rifle that was given to him by Han Solo in The Force Awakens. His rifle on its own, it's a decent blaster blaster, it has a relatively slow fire rate but deals high damage and can effectively take out infantry at short to medium range. It does have moderate recoil that is tough to control and it can be pretty much impossible to be accurate while trying to use this weapon at long range. Luckily this blaster isn't meant to be used on its own and one of Finn's abilities really makes this weapon shine. Now that we've covered Finn's health, movement, and primary weapon, let's move on to his abilities. Big deal, dead eye, and undercover agent. And Finn's abilities are some of the best in the game without a shadow of a doubt, and mastering these is the most important aspect of locking down Finn's playstyle. His first ability, Big Deal, is what changes Finn from a glass cannon to a tank. Big Deal is a pretty complex ability and does a lot for Finn and his teammates. Its primary function works similarly to Yoda's presence and will buff the health of yourself and nearby teammates temporarily. The more teammates you boost with your Big Deal, the more HP you will receive yourself. If you buff no teammates, you'll gain 120 HP and for each additional teammate affected, you will gain an extra 10 HP, which is a pretty cool mechanic. This ability also decreases the amount of damage you take the entire time it's active, so during the duration of Big Deal, you can pretty much rush into a room full of enemies, wipe them out, and even if the enemy team deals massive damage to you, you'll still be able to retreat with most of your health intact. But that's not where the benefits of Big Deal end, as it also increases the rate at which your other two abilities recharge, and gives you no weapon heat buildup, so you can fire your weapon to your heart's content with no repercussions. If you can't tell, this ability is pretty insane, and even without considering the benefit your teammates receive, it is undoubtedly one of the strongest in the game. This ability does have one major drawback, that being, once activated, your movement speed will be greatly reduced. You will no longer be able to sprint until the ability is done, and I honestly don't find this to be an issue too often like you would expect. The ability can be disabled manually, and while you will lose the damage reduction and other perks, the bonus health will remain for a short amount of time. So if you found yourself surrounded and need to move quickly, you can just deactivate Big Deal and sprint out of there, and any health you lose while retreating should just be the bonus health that remains. Using this ability effectively can make Finn a hero that is able to tank massive amounts of damage with very few repercussions. Be sure to activate this ability shortly before engaging with your enemies, as it does have a short animation time that does leave you pretty defenseless. Finn's next ability is even better than Big Deal, which I know it's pretty hard to believe. Most heroes, they just have one standard ability, with the other two abilities being good, but not 
not on the level of the best. Boba Fett has his rocket barrage, Vader has his focused rage, Han has his detonite charge, you get the picture. But for whatever reason, the Battlefront 2 hero gods looked down upon Finn and decided to equip him with two of the downright best abilities in all of Battlefront 2. Finn's second ability is Deadeye, and this is pretty much just an aimbot. Activating this will tag one enemy, and as long as they're in range and not behind cover, every single shot you fire will land. You could be aiming 10 feet above their head, and each shot will still hit with no problems, and the second that enemy dies, it will auto-lock on another one, and you can continue picking them off until the ability eventually runs out. The ability also reduces all recoil from your blaster, so even if someone is out of range, you can easily pick them off with total ease, and this ability is just absolutely insane. We'll talk about the upgrades for Deadeye in a bit, but even on its own, it's one of the best abilities in the entire game without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, this melts heroes with absolutely no issues, infantry stand no chance, and there's really no counter to this ability unless you are a saber user. Saber users are able to deflect the shots until the ability runs out, but against anyone else, they're as good as dead. This is currently the number one Boba Fett counter in the game, as activating this while Boba Fett is in range will take him out in a matter of seconds, and his jetpack generally just isn't fast enough to take him out of range before his 500 HP is long gone. Use this ability whenever enemies are in range and you'll find yourself racking up free kills like no tomorrow, and pairing this with big deal can allow Finn to come from behind cover, score a few kills, and retreat with no damage done. Finn's final ability, Undercover Team, is certainly the lesser of his three abilities, but it's by no means a bad ability. In fact, for any other hero, this would probably be considered their standout ability, but Finn's other two are just so strong once paired together, I rarely use Undercover Team. Once activated, Undercover Team replaces Finn's rifle with his Glee 44 pistol, takes Finn and anyone affected off the radar, reveals all enemy locations, and increases Finn's sprint speed. Which that sounds pretty amazing, right? Well, it kind of is. It is pretty nice for getting behind enemy cover without them noticing. Finn is currently the only hero that can take himself off the radar, but if you use Finn a lot, the only thing this ability is very good for is flanking. Unlike Big Deal and Deadeye, this ability can be used in unison with other abilities. If you activate Undercover Team while another ability is active, Finn's extra health will be cancelled and Deadeye will also be wasted. It doesn't help that Finn's pistol is pretty weak. I tested it out in Arcade and the semi-auto pistol takes 5 shots to kill a heavy, which is is pretty dang weak. I generally only use this ability while flanking the enemy and that's it. I'll use it to flank them, I'll cancel it and then I'll switch to Big Deal or Deadeye. Using it to reveal enemies is okay, but rushing in with your pistol and no bonus health is just going to lose you a ton of your base health that can't be recovered and score you way fewer kills. A much more effective strategy would just be to use Big Deal and Deadeye in unison, obliterate everyone and that's the strategy that I use in 90% of situations. Alright, now that we've covered Finn's basics and abilities, let's go over his star cards and I really can only recommend one setup for Finn, and those would be his three Deadeye cards. Upgrading his three Deadeye star cards take Finn's ability from one of the best in the game to being borderline broken. The first is Stay Calm, and this is by far his best card, in fact, it might be the best hero ability card in the entire game. For each enemy you defeat with Deadeye, the duration is extended by 40%. Generally, taking out an Assault Trooper, which is pretty middle of the road for health, will take around 30% of Deadeye's ability time to kill, so this card will effectively allow you to aimbot everyone in sight as the ability will continually refill as you get kills. This card is, like I said, borderline broken against infantry and in an HVV it is amazing as you melt through enemy after enemy. His next card is Raise to do the right thing, which is a really stupid name but a really good card. This increases the radius of Finn's Deadeye ability entirely. This one is pretty self explanatory, it simply allows you to aimbot enemies from further away with his Deadeye and is useful in every game mode and pretty much every scenario. His last card, No More Running, increases the amount of damage Deadeye does to enemies after 3 kills. At first, I thought this just meant it would increase the damage per use, so after you got 3 kills in a single use, the damage would be increased until the ability ran out. But to my absolute shock, that's not how this works. This star card permanently increases the damage of his ability. So after you get 3 kills in 1 life, shots while Deadeye are active will always deal 12 more damage to all enemies, which I don't need to explain why this is great. It allows you to melt all enemies even quicker, and they're really really aren't any other star cards that I would even recommend. None increase his health or anything important. These three are far and away his best star cards, which is why I instantly blew through all my crafting parts upgrading Finn to fully epic. 
Now that we've covered everything you need to know about how Finn functions, let's quickly go over strategy. And I've touched on a lot of what needs to be done as Finn, but there are a few points I'd like to leave you with so you can really dominate with this hero. In HVV, stick with your team. With a squad surrounding him, Finn can make even the most incompetent bunch of randoms intimidating, buffing their health with his big deal and aimbotting incoming enemies with his deadeye. Many of your teammates will have abilities that will stun your enemies, like Luke's Force Push a Repulse, Chewy Stun Grenade, Lando's Disabler, and all of these make enemies very vulnerable to your aimbot. Finn is not a character that should run off on his own in HVV, he lacks any sort of ability that will get him out of a situation quickly, and his movement speed is subpar, so just stick with your team and enjoy cleaning up on every enemy that comes your way. In Galactic Assault, however, I like to play the opposite way. He is one hero of very few that you can just be super effective with running in by yourself, taking out every enemy in sight, and just retreating. I've went on multiple 100 plus kill streaks in Galactic Assault with Finn in the two weeks he's been in the game, and if you take the tips I've given you today, I guarantee you you'll be able to do just as well. He's one of the best heroes in the game currently, probably the second best light side hero overall, and one of my favorites for absolute sure. Well guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, you could drop me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here and love all things Star Wars, definitely hit that subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate that as well. If you made it to this part of the video, comment Rebel Scum in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.